Barry Hearn saw that vision as well. Yeah. And you're lucky enough to be mentored um, by, by Barry. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah like I say, um, yeah, I can't find Barry enough, man. Yeah, he's, he's done a lot. He's helped me out with you know a lot of things where it's coming, getting fights, um, sponsors, um, a lot of training, trips, you know, a lot of things. Barry, Barry does a lot. Yeah, so um, it must be... Do you, do you ever get any sort of like jealousy from Neville Matram? Guys? I mean, not that I've seen. Uh, <laughs> Been the favourite? Not that I've seen, obviously, <laughs> but you know, you never know, you never know. Yeah. But nah, not that, not that I've seen. A lot of them are, no, they're alright. Yeah. So I think, I think you used to, um, you don't just train here, but you also train at a matching gym as well, right? Yeah, a lot of the time we go up to Barry's, um, uh, when we're going to meet Barry, or, you know, meeting anything. Um, and we'll do it, we'll do a lot of training there. Um, got set runs, and, you know, there's a pool there, we do the pads there, and it's quite good. I was thinking, what was the environment like? Because obviously that's supposed to be like a, a massive complex. They've got like a helicopter pad there as yeah. well. It's massive. It's decent, man. I mean, the matchroom gym itself is, is, is nice. I mean, like you say, the helicopter pad. But when we go to, to mass schools, to the, like, the headquarters, you know, we'll be running on the roads and, um, you know, there's the pools there, with that big fields all over the place and that. Yeah. So it's nice, man. It is nice. Any interesting spine sessions with uh, Connor Ben, another fellow world? Nah, right? I didn't. I've never, quite, so I've never sparred Conor Ben, honestly. Um, when we went up there sparring, I don't think Conor Ben was in either. Yeah. I, I went to spar, when, when we went to spar up there, I was sparring John Ryder. Um, and I don't think Conor Ben was in, no. Oh, wow. Ricky Burns is well weight. Yeah, right? nah, yeah. Ricky Burns was a lightweight. Was a lightweight at the time, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. He was sparring, we had some lads up there um, sparring with him. Yeah, he's a fit guy, he is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Non-stop. It yeah, must have been good times. So, um, going back to, the biggest win on your on your profile, your CV, was against Pulin Malanaji. It was obviously a, t he was a world champion twice in two different divisions. Yeah. What, what were your thoughts approaching that fight? And did you think you would stop him so early? Um. When when I got told I was fighting Pulin Malanaji, I was a bit nervous. You know, um, I just, I thought, I don't know really. I, did, I, I just thought he was a tricky tricky customer. You know, I like someone that comes forward. And has a goal, you know. That's meat and drink to me. But um, a tricky, a tricky guy that you know has been world champion twice. But not, another thing was, you know, everyone was saying, "Oh, he's old." You know, he, he you know, he's past it. So then that made me think, if anyway he does slip past me, <laughs> you know, I'm screwed. But um, so I was nervous for that one. Like I say, there was a bit of a scare factor in the sense I didn't really want to lose against someone who people were were, were saying was past it. So I, I trained hard for that, and I, you know, I was ready for anything he brought. But yeah, I mean, I thought I was winning comfortable as well. But I know I was down on the cards, but in the ring, it felt like I was I was winning comfortable. But but yeah, it's a good shot. Yeah, I mean, as a boxing fan, taking a step away, I think that was probably the best I've seen you. I mean, the way in, you looked like you made weight. Yeah, yeah I, felt, I felt good, man. I mean, like I said, there was a scare factor there. Not only that, but um, I was 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 in London from the Wednesday from the Wednesday night. So I had to do Wednesday, Thursday, Friday there. And I'm like, I'm quite OCD, so I have a routine for everything. You know, I do the same thing at the end of camp last week. The same thing will happen every time. So to have, to go have to go away, that, that threw me off bad. So I was trying to make weight early. So I was, I was, I was comfortable on the weight when I, when I got to London. Um, but yeah, I, I like to keep everything the same. I just, you know, I'm a bit mad like that. I think a lot of boxers do. Yeah. I mean, you gotta have um, people underestimate what the fighter has to go through yeah. on fight night. They only see the outcome, but they don't see the blood, sweat, tears, yeah, exactly, and exactly. making weight, etc. The sacrifices. Little things like throwing you off on the last week, going up to London for four days. You know, mate, that threw me off bad. I, I mean, I like to keep the same routine, but uh, yes, it, it put like a little thing in me where I thought if I make weight. If I do wait good, then by the time I get there, I ain't got to worry about it when I'm in London. And that's what I try to do.